In this demo, we will configure Apache 2 uh, and create two sites on one uh, server. So we'll go through virtual host also. Um, the first thing that we need to do is somewhere to store our files, our HTML files. And this is usually uh, stored under var www and then the domain name. Um, so we, I'm now logged on to the Apache web server uh, that I created in a previous demo. Uh, we'll start up by creating uh, the locations for these. So I have, we'll create, uh, this will be the first site. My username dot devops labs dot xyz and then we have a name for the folder where the html files should be stored this could be anything actually but we usually make um, state that it is public this this folder will be public access from the web server um, so we create that one i also will have a secondary so i create that now also uh, just made a subdomain so it's a different domain test dot my username dot devops labs dot xyz and then we need to set some permissions for this folder these folders actually and uh, we'll make the permissions this only states that it's my username, uh, the Ubuntu user, a regular user, uh, and that it should be the owner for this folder. And we make the same change for the other site. Then I haven't talked that much about permissions and the Linux file systems and stuff like that. Uh, I will talk some about it in the security lecture. Um, but we should also change uh, the, uh, the user rights for this www folder. So the next thing would be to create some content for this these websites. And so you probably will have that um, somewhere and upload these files. But for now, we will just create some dummy content. So we'll edit these and add some dummy content. And as you saw, I didn't use sudo here because now I am the owner of this folder. So I will be able to write this without sudo. We'll do the same for the other site. And now it's time to set up the configuration for the Apache server. And the Apache server has a default site, uh, as we saw before, this site. And we will copy the configuration from that to have a starting point. And that is stored in the etc Apache 2 sites available and the 00-config and default.config. So we copy that to uh, and create actually a, a new configuration file under this sites available folder. And then we will edit that file. And as you see here, we have a lot of content already in this default, but the most of them is comments. Uh, all uh, lines starting with hashtag is a comment. Uh, so here we should have some information about the server administrator. I'll just put something in here now.
and where uh, the content is stored. Uh, this is what we created before. So that's the folder. We have the server admin, we should have the server name also. Let's see if I have some. No, we'll create that. create an alias for this one just to see how that is done so it will answer for both the uh, jl222 gk.devopslabs.com and ww dot the same thing alias also and then the logging uh, we should use the default uh, logging that's it save that file and for the other we can con copy this configuration and just make some changes to it this was test This could be anything. Uh, you should have the um, ability to change your DNS servers to reflect this. And it's stored in test. So now that it's done, we should enable these sites and we have a command for that. A2 N site and for uh, uh, Apache 2 enable site and where the configuration file is. So that's loaded and then we load the test site. It's now added but it's new configuration so Apache won't load that. You can run this command. Uh, we previously talked about the uh, system CTL command we can use that also but before we reload the configuration we should disable the default site and we do that with uh, a similar command it's a2 this site and disable that one and then we can use sudo system CTL restart Apache 2 So now when we go to the site We get some uh, Content uh, and it's we disable the default site uh, But how do we get to the different sites? Uh, we have made some configurations and the site name is this uh, URL and, and for now I don't uh, have this so I need to oh, this is wrong actually I should change that one good I saw that the site name should be test dot restart the Apache server again uh, but <clears throat> if I wanted to try this if I'm not able to change the DNS name I don't have this server and I would still want to test if it works uh, you can use the, the local hosts file on your computer 
if you're on Linux or uh, OS 10, then you have the file uh, in etc uh, hosts. But if you're in Windows, you have also a file, host file, and you can locate that in C colon Windows or your system drive, Windows uh, system 32 uh, etc hosts. And that file you can edit in the same way uh, that you do in uh, with the text editor or something like that. You need to be an administrator to do that. Um, but for now, if I open a new tab here, and open my file, sudo nano etc hosts. Here we have my host file on my local machine, not in the virtual server. Here I can uh, make static mappings. So first off, we need to uh, get the IP, and this is the IP for the server. You should only have the IP. This is the static mappings. And then the name. should be doing here uh, actually is I just update your DNS if you have uh, are responsible for this zone uh, but I will uh, do that in a later demo sites yeah I got to that one and um, let's see test yeah you have the same name but you see the title here welcome to the test page and before without that we have just that. so this is two different um, pages. Uh, if I go back to the server and edit one of those pages so we can easy, more easily see the, the change. Let's make a change for the test site. Test site is working. Now we save that. We don't need to reload uh, the Apache server because this is just static content and now we have that changed. So that's how you set up uh, sites uh, in websites in Apache Server 2 and also how you have them serve multiple different uh, sites at once.